everyone, this is the fourth and final video where I'm evaluating the Wesper device for diagnosing sleep apnea. I'm Dr. Dan Gartenberg, who recently discovered, a sleep scientist who recently discovered that I most likely have sleep apnea, and actually I do have sleep apnea is what we've learned um, today. So I first spoke to Chelsea. She's a very um, you know, informed, very empathic person who walked me through my data when it came to um, what Wesper was detecting with my sleep. Uh, she has these de detailed reports here. Um, it'll tell you, you know, your sleep stages, um, how many hypopneas or breathing events you had, AHI instances um, that were 3% um, or 4% desaturization. These are all things that are useful for diagnosing sleep apnea and figuring out what type of problem you're having. One really interesting thing that seemed to be happening with my sleep is that I was having these instances more often during my REM cycle. Um, it wasn't positionally related for me, it turns out. Sometimes position plays a big role, but based on the data we collected so far, that wasn't a major factor for me. However, it did seem to happen more often when I was in my REM sleep. You can see these little lines here um, are breathing events, and um, the REM sleep is usually when I'm having more of these breathing events based on um, these, these various detailed reports here. So this was informative. Um, you know, she suggested that I actually went, go ahead and get diagnosed. I did end up speaking to an MD through Wesper. It was very affordable, um, only about $170 to get the diagnosis. And so now I have a couple of treatment options. I'm first going to try to lose some weight, um, and I'm also, while I'm doing that, probably going to pursue getting an MAD device, as my case isn't in a severe category um, where you'd more really need a, a CPAP for something like that. So I'm going to go to my dentist, see if insurance will cover getting this mouth um, piece called a mandibular advancement device. And so that's going to be my next step in the, this process of getting my breathing un, in order throughout the night. And I am very thankful for this new technology um, that's really enabling me to evaluate this. And uniquely, you know, in the past, you'd only get, you know, a single sleep test. And so it's a single data point. But since I can recharge these... I can actually, you know, see if my weight loss regimen actually helps me then take another assessment throughout the night. You know, I don't necessarily have to use this every night, but on nights where I think I've made some change, I can see if I can get a market improvement and I'll do the same thing once I get my MAD device. So I'll be posting more videos once that, happen, once that happens and I, I hope you follow me on my journey for a deeper, healthier night of sleep.